गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर कंप्यूटर क्लास एज वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड अवर चैप्टर इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैड डिस्कशन ओवर सम फॉर्मेटिंग कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर्मेटिंग एज अ टेबल सेल स्टाइल एंड मैनी मोर सो टूडे we are going to deal with the exercise session in which we will complete our fill in the blanks mcqs and question answers so before that let's revise the things once again and then we will come to the exercise session so coming to the textbook so in this chapter formatting worksheet in ms excel i will just provide you a little description about the topics because already we had read the chapter and explained also formatting is very important feature in excel formatting displays the worksheets in an attractive and more legible outlook so formatting is done to display the worksheet in an attractive manner <coughs> in this chapter changing the font of data you can change your font also there are different fonts given over here with the help of that you can change the font of the text in the cell you have also studied about changing the size of the data how can you change the size of your data means from smaller to the bigger starting from 8 to 12 16 24 this also you can do in your formatting bold italic underline you can also make your data bold italicized manner and underline also some important data for that you have to use bold italic and underline click on that and it will be applied on your data control v to toggle the select range as bold control c sorry not control c control i for italicize and control u for underline and control v for bold okay changing the alignment of data means the positioning of the data the text which you have written under the cell boundary the alignment means the positioning of that data left right center that also you can do in the home tab when you click on the following things here it is given and this gives a change to the position of your text or data which you have feed in your worksheet centering data across columns how will you center your data across the columns while you are writing see here sale of computer parts it is written in left side and you have to bring it in the center so there is an option merge and center with that option you can apply on your data and it will change your data position from left side to center here you can see click on home tab and merge and center button to center the data across the columns earlier we are using alignment that is for data inside the cell but it is for center data across the columns with the help <coughs> means you can see here with the aspect of column you can change while if you change your columns like here if you are just giving more space to your column it will not affect this one okay if you have chosen the option merge and center now next changing the color of the cell very easy 
you can change the color of the cell by clicking on the tag theme colors and their different colors are there you can choose any one of them so these things we had already discussed in the chapter i am just revising once again the topics changing the color of the data okay you can easily change it by choosing the option font color to display available colors and click on the color whichever you want adding borders you can add borders also in your worksheet or in your table which will separate the data from surrounding cells how can you do this so there is also a button given border you can click on that and select different borders changing number formats likewise there are 12 number formats through which we can change our numbers in the worksheet while making a preparing a table and where you have feed a data and you want to change numbers in some currencies percentage so you can use with the help of number format format cells dialog box will open and you can use this dialog box to control properties such as display the negative numbers and the currency symbol and how dates and times appear so click on the number tab and then click on any number okay and use the control to display customize the number format excel applies the number formatting to the numerical data in the cell or range now description of number formats so here you can see the description also of the number formats are given general number currency accounting date time percentage fraction scientific text special custom which already we had discussed in our previous class so go through it and remember these formats increasing or decimal numbers as much as you can increase or decrease your decimals while using increasing and decimal commands applying workbook themes there are different themes given for your workbook you can choose any of the themes and change the appearance of your workbook when you move your mouse pointer over themes you see them previewed yes of course we see the preview of that and that is called live preview adding conditional formatting if your cell meets the specified condition if any condition you want to give to your cell and if that meets the condition the specified condition which you have provided so for that conditional formatting feature is there and different rules are there greater than less than equal to less than equal to so highlight cell rules under that heading you will get click on home tab conditional formatting highlight cell rules like it has been selected greater than so a dialog box will appear and in that you will just put the value and after that it will change according to the condition and you can also remove your conditional formatting if you don't want then click on home tab conditional formatting clear rules whatever rules you have applied just click on clear rules and clear rules form selected cells from the side menu a side menu will appear there you will select clear rules from the selected cells formatting with style again format as a table you can change your whole data in a form of table and you can also change the table formats here clicking on the home tab and format as table under that when you have selected a table theme you can change the style also of the cell apply a cell style you can change the style of the cell 
here it has been selected this one so you will see the effect of this in the next slide see here the changes have been made the color also and the format as table style clear now coming to the exercise i know that formatting means displaying the worksheet in an attractive and more legible outlook yes of course we had already read about it and know also that formatting is used to give an attractive look to the book workbook i know that formatting makes our worksheet are more presentable by applying different features like font type font size color alignment etc and this also the first one is we are agreed and of course formatting makes our worksheet more presentable it looks more attractive when you are keeping in front of someone while because there are features like font type font size color alignment you can change the alignment also the color also the type and size also third i know that by default excel automatically aligns text data to the left yes number to the right and data text data to the left side by default it keeps i know that theme gallery is used to apply combination of formatting settings theme gallery is used it gives you combination of formatting settings because it comes in built there are different formatting settings already done in that theme you just select the theme and it is applied to your data i know that excel styles are used to apply preset formatting designed to the worksheet data just we have read about it okay so it is also agreed now take the correct answer you can make a worksheet look more attractive and legible by how can you more make sorry how can you make so just while starting the chapter we have read a line that formatting makes your worksheet look more attractive and legible so the answer is formatting the position in which data is placed within the boundary of a cell is referred to so it is asking about the position of the text in the cell boundary we have seen there is a cell in which you have written 26 the position of 26 so how will you get it through alignment we will use alignment so alignment refers to the position in which data is placed within the boundary of a cell the number of styles offered by excel 2010 is so there are 12 number of styles offered by excel 2010 as we have seen number formats different styles now d to apply a combination of formatting settings dash is used so just now we have read above the statement to apply combination of formatting settings theme gallery is used so the answer is theme gallery clear next true and false you can change the font of text in excel yes we can change the font of text in excel so first one is true the conditional formatting is used to format the data according to only one condition false no there are many more conditions given which you can use for conditional formatting okay there is no any restriction for using only one condition so it is false excel offers 10 number styles to format the numbers this is also false because it provide 12 different number styles to format the numbers by default excel aligns text data to the left of the cell yes true it allows text data to the left of the 
cells and number data to the right general number format add rupees sign and decimals to display monetary value true general number format provides the decimal and rupee sign to display monetary values so first one is true second one is false third one is false fourth one is true and fifth one is true fill in the blanks dash number format multiplies cell value by 100 so in number format we had seen that there is a format which multiplies cell value by 100 known as percentage percentage number i am just making a sign of percentage you will write the name also percentage number format multiplies cell value by 100 b dash is used for centering titles over the data so centering according to the columns what we have used over the data merge and center just now we had revised it merge and center is used for centering titles over the data so m e r merge and center okay second answer is merge and center third dash can be added to the cells for separating the data from surrounding cells very easy border can be added to the cells for separating the data from surrounding cells because border is used to separate the cells so here answer will be border b o r d e r okay border to control the appearance of dash data number formatting is done the number formatting is done for what to change the appearance of number data different number datas are there and to change the appearance of that we use number formatting so here your answer is number okay e1 dash number format style works with a list and database values which number format style works with a list and data values so there is a number special number special number format style works with a list of database values special now the last one you can control number of decimals that appear with numeric data using everyone knows about that very easy increasing decimal and decreasing decimal decreasing increasing decimal command and decreasing decimal command in the first blank you will write increasing decimal increasing decimal and second decreasing decimal i n c r e a s i n g increasing and decreasing okay so now we have also completed our fill in the blanks true false and tick the correct now coming to the main part answer the following question so what do you mean by formatting in the above also we had read formatting means displaying the worksheet in an attractive and more legible outlook starting of the chapter also it is given in the exercise also it is given you can see over here formatting means displaying the worksheet in an attractive and more legible outlook so this is the answer of the 
first one clear second question why do we need to do conditional formatting in ms excel 